welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a reset video. I desperately need this. I just finished midterms, so for the past two weeks probably, I have been doing nothing but stressing out about school, and I have not been prioritizing anything else, so that means my apartment is messy. There's so much clutter everywhere. I need to like actually clean. I haven't been keeping up with myself and putting effort into my appearance and relaxing and recharging, all of that. So today is the first day that I don't have to stress about midterms in a couple weeks, so I'm so happy. We still have stuff to do today. I did start my day off by showing up to an 8 a.m. class that got moved online and I did not know so <laughs> I did not have to get up and get ready this morning but I did. Anyways we are going to write down in my planner what we need to do today. So I need to pick up like all the clutter in my apartment. I need to take the trash and recycling out. I need to actually clean and I need to edit a brand deal and I need to pack actually. I forgot I'm going out of town this weekend so that'll be fun. I'm going to San Diego. I have an interview today at one for my internship. If you watched my week in my life video you would know what I'm talking about. But until then, I don't really have anything. But I am starving. So we're not going to start on this right this second. Let's just relax and have some breakfast first. I'm realizing that I don't have any good breakfast food right now. You know what? Actually, I do. I have cereal. So we're just going to have that. I'm waiting to go grocery shopping until after I get back from my little weekend trip. So right now, we're kind of just eating a bunch of snacks. <laughs> I have a few minutes left of this week's Bachelor episode. So we're going to catch up on that. to start cleaning my apartment but before we do that i find it so much more fun when i have something to sip on while i'm cleaning and walking around the apartment and stuff so we're gonna make a coffee i unfortunately have started making coffees at home again which i'm not proud of i did so good with not like regularly drinking coffee for a really long time like probably not even once a week but i have been missing making my little drinks and so i got some stuff to make it at home again but anyways let's fill this up with ice now i'm gonna use this califia farms iced coffee Coffee. I'm not gonna fill it up all the way. Now I'm using this silk almond creamer. I've learned that I really like almond milk in my coffees. I always use kind of a lot. Okay, I feel like that looks like the right color. This is my favorite step. I found this strawberry whipped cream from Target. It is so cute. I mean, it tastes good too, obviously, but it literally just makes me so happy to put this on my drinks. Like, just wait until you see this. Look how beautiful this looks. Oh my gosh. It has been making me so happy. All right, now that I have my coffee, we're gonna put away all the clutter in my apartment right now, which is a lot. The kitchen is done for the most part. I put away a bunch of PR that had been sitting out. I need to throw out these tulips because they are not doing too well, but I don't have room in my trash can yet, so we need to take the trash out. This plant is also not doing too hot, but I don't want to get rid of it. I'm not sure what to do about it, but all the clutter is pretty much gone. Maybe I'll just throw this in my cupboard or something because I haven't had a chance to do these. I actually do have a bunch of stuff in my sink, so maybe we will do this really quick. Also, I just got this little, I don't even know what to call it, like just this cute little dish. I don't know if it's for like sugar, or what it's from home goods and i just love it so much the pink yellow blue color combo so cute i just love my kitchen but let's do the dishes really quick Okay, my living room and my desk doesn't really have too much clutter, but I am just gonna go around and fix all the little things that are messed up, put away things that don't need to be out. I literally have no clue why there's a Trader Joe's bag over here. I do not remember putting that there. So let's put this away. I'm gonna put my candle away and we are gonna fold this blanket. I'm seeing some like dust and fuzz on my couch and stuff. So I'm gonna take my little handheld vacuum and vacuum it all up. This thing has actually come in handy so many times. I bought it thinking it would be good to pick up bugs without having to like touch them, but I haven't even had to do that. It is just so practical for like really small messes where you don't wanna get out your entire vacuum, fuzz on your couch, stuff like that. I use it all the time and I never thought that I would. I love it. room is pretty much done. Let's move on to my bedroom, which is a disaster. It's actually not. I'm being so dramatic. <laughs> my bed is unmade because I was rushing out the door. I have a bunch of laundry right here that I still need to put away. Just some clothes, like random stuff. So let's fix all of this. <laughs> Pretty 
much done. I took out the trash and the recycling, which always just feels so good to have a fresh start and to get it over with because I hate actually doing it. But I love afterwards when I have an empty trash can. I really want to get ready right now because my interview is in an hour and like 45 minutes. It's 11, 13 a.m. The interview is at one. I am already like semi ready since I did go to class this morning, but I do want to like touch some stuff up and pick out a cute outfit that is not just like a sweatshirt. I do think this sweatshirt is really cute though. This is actually the store that I am doing the internship with. But anyways, before I actually get ready, I do think I should clean first because that order just makes more sense. So we're just gonna do it really fast. I'm not going to worry too much about like deep cleaning. I just want to make sure all the counters are clean, all the surfaces are clean. I'll probably do a quick vacuum. It shouldn't take too long. So let's get started. down the last thing left to do is vacuum get to enjoy the entire day with a clean house and that just makes me so much more productive i need to do my eyebrows so bad like they are actually so grown out and it's to the point where i feel like i need to like go to someone and get them professionally waxed which i have not done since before covid but i'm honestly considering it because i feel like they're just kind of out of control and you can't really tell unless you're like looking up close but i feel like for me personally when i have very clean maintained brows it changes the entire look of my face and like my makeup so i've really been wanting to go get it done but I just haven't really found anywhere yet that I want to go to so we'll see what happens. I am just adding mascara right now because I wasn't wearing mascara this morning. I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Brown Mascara. I like it but it's not that brown. Like I feel like you wouldn't really be able to tell that I'm wearing brown mascara. It kind of just looks normal. I guess it is like a little softer looking than normal black mascara. I definitely like it. It's just like what's the point of using brown mascara if it's not super brown? I think this is all I'm really going to do makeup wise except I might add a lip combo. But I do want to touch up my hair and use my little thermal round brush to kind of like flip up the ends and make it look more like a blowout. My hair recently has just not been holding a curl at all. And honestly, I think it's because it's the healthiest it's probably been in years because I've been taking really good care of it. And so I'm wondering if that's why it's not holding a curl because I feel like when it was like fried, it just held a curl really well because my hair was just so dry and like dead. I could be totally wrong. But if you have any recommendations for stuff to use, to get your hair to hold a curl, please let me know. I'm not a huge hairspray girly, but if anyone has a recommendation for one that doesn't leave your hair feeling like sticky or weird, or like crunchy, I hate that, please let me know. Okay, here is the makeup with the mascara. I'll do my lips right before I leave, but let's do my hair. I'm gonna sit here and watch some Bachelor YouTube videos. If you watch The Bachelor, I really like Bachelor fan takes videos on YouTube. I feel like after every week when I finish the episode, I always just want more, and that's the perfect way to like get more, I guess. He does like episode recap, and then episode preview breakdowns and explains what he thinks is going to happen in the next episode, which is always really fun. And you're not getting any spoilers because it's all just like speculation. And it's really interesting because it helps you like really understand the show and how they edit certain people to look good or bad or whatever. And how they edit the lead, how they edit the final pick, how they edit the runner up. Like it's so interesting. So I would recommend his channel. So yeah, I'm gonna do my hair and watch some YouTube. Is done. The curls never stay, but I did put a bunch of product in it so that it would at least have volume. So I'm honestly fine with it. I think it looks pretty cute, but now I need to pick out an outfit. I'm doing the 75 hard style challenge right now. If you don't know what it is, I explained it on my TikTok. I've been kind of struggling with like picking out cute outfits and stuff. And I think it's mainly because of the weather. Like it's too cold to be wearing stuff that I personally like. I feel like a lot of the clothes that I like and feel really confident in are more summery or springy, I guess. In the winter, I just want to be really warm and cozy. And so I just 
just always wear like sweatshirts and stuff. So yeah, but I want to try and pick out an outfit that is not just jeans and a sweatshirt. And I feel like I always forget about clothes that I have because I literally just have too many. And I need to do a closet clean out, which is part of the 75 hard style challenge. So at some point I will be doing that. Maybe not today, but soon. But anyways, I'm going to look through every single top in my closet and just see what brings me any inspiration. already slightly messy again just from getting ready. I am wearing this black top from Brandy. I really like it because it's like off the shoulder a little bit. I feel like this outfit really does not match my personality, but I'm wearing these jeans, which I think are super cool. They're from Addicted. They have the little buttons on the pockets and then on the bottom too. And then I'm just gonna wear some black boots with them because I feel like they're a little bit long. So if I wear boots, they'll be perfect. This is the makeup. I did a lip combo. I accidentally did one that was way too dark at first and it made me look like goth, which is not really my vibe. So I put on a lighter one, but it still looks a little bit dark, but I actually really like it. That is today's look. I'm gonna film my little 75 hard style challenge video and then pack a bag and head out. from my interview. My little tradition is that every time we do these interviews, I go get a Coke when we're all finished. I've been really trying to limit my soda intake. And so it's always my little treat because it gets so hot because we're like walking around getting B-roll and stuff. And the weather will say it's going to be like 60 degrees. So I'll wear a long sleeve and I was sweating today. Anyways, I am going to turn on the fan, sip on my Coke and watch some TV just to cool down before I go back to doing my work. to finish some work for the day. Let's cross some things off of my to-do list. I did the interview, picked up the clutter, took out the trash and recycling, and cleaned. Now we just have basically a ton of editing left, and it's pretty much all TikToks. I would like to edit this video if I could, but I have so much to edit, so we will see what I have the mental capacity for today. I have some random TikToks and reels that I've filmed, and I need to get those up, and then I need to post my 75 hard style challenge video today, so I need to edit that. I also need to edit a brand deal that I need to submit tomorrow. So that's a top priority. We're gonna do that first. I need to edit some TikToks for my interview. So that's four different categories of stuff with multiple things in each of those categories. But I do like editing TikToks. The ones that are for like my personal stuff don't matter as much. Like those won't take very long, but the ones that are like the brand deal and the internship stuff like that is gonna take some time. Definitely takes more effort. So let's start working on the brand deal one. I think it'll be kind of fun to show you the process of how I edit. I use Final Cut Pro even to edit like TikToks and stuff. Stuff, and I will just airdrop the videos to my computer. We have 22 videos that I am sending to my computer. It might take a minute to download. Okay, I just got the videos, so I'm gonna click Show and Finder. So then it highlights all of them for me. So I'm just gonna click them and drag it into my project. The very first thing I do is just go through all of these clips and cut out all the good parts that I think are going to be usable for the video. Basically, I just do a rough cut first. So I have all the good footage picked out. We're gonna go through and do that right now. minute and 19 seconds of usable footage. So now I'm gonna record the voiceover, edit that, and then edit the video down to be the exact length of the voiceover and have all the clips match what I'm saying. I just use normal Apple wired headphones, plug these into my computer. I'm sure there's a way to do a voiceover directly in Final Cut, but I just go to the Voice Memos app and record it on there and then import it into Final Cut. So let's do that really quick. so many hand movements whenever I'm recording voiceovers, but sometimes it feels so unnatural to record voiceovers for brands because I always write out like what I'm gonna say so that I just don't forget anything. And it feels weird to read it even though I'm reading stuff that I wrote. So I try very hard to make it sound like just a normal conversation and apparently hand motions help with that. All right, I'm gonna edit down the voiceover and make it work with the clips. I 
is finished. I do need to go into Instagram and TikTok and put some captions and stuff before I submit it. But I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. You will be seeing it on my Instagram and TikTok soon. I'm probably gonna eat something. I'm super hungry and edit some more. So I will see you guys later. bit later. I just took a shower. It's 9.15. I've had kind of a weird schedule for the past week or two. Some of my 8 a.m. classes keep getting canceled or moved online. And I've just been having to stay up a little bit later than usual to study or do homework. And so I feel like my sleep schedule isn't as good as it was like a couple weeks ago. So normally I would like to be in bed by now, not like sleeping, just like sitting in bed, like winding down for the night. I feel like I'm a grandma. Like I'm literally 21 years old and I'm like, wow, I'm still up at 9.15 p.m. Crazy. <laughs> but anyways, I spent so long working on editing that interview. It was actually the one that I filmed in last week's video. It's very hard to edit an interview with four people in a crowded place with no proper microphones and only one camera. So it's tough. We obviously just do this on our own. I use my personal equipment. It's an unpaid internship. Like, you know, that's just how it is. So it was tough to edit and I'm not even done, but we made some progress, but I was like, oh my God, I need to call it a night because I actually still have to pack, which is what we are going to do right now. I don't love packing at night, but oh well. I don't want to be rushing out the door tomorrow. We're going to leave at like 10 30. I have a class before we leave, so I want to pack now, get it over with. I want to pick out some really cute outfits. Let's get started so we can get this over with and I can go to bed. <laughs> Here's what we've got so far. I feel like there's only one outfit that I think is actually really cute, which is this green skirt with this like kind of mesh top with this brown bralette underneath. We have my pink yoga pants with a little tank top, brought a couple sweatshirts, a couple pairs of jeans, a few long sleeves and a tank top. I'm also gonna bring my yoga pants. This is definitely enough, but I don't love all of the outfits. So I don't know. I don't think I'd care as much if I weren't doing the 75 hard style challenge. I had a week start but I've been trying really hard to actually just put in more effort the past few days and stuff So I wanted to keep that going, but I just am not feeling inspired right now Also, I hate that like I don't just have access to my entire wardrobe. It's mostly my accessories. Honestly I'm fine with just packing outfits, but I want to bring so many options for shoes for purses like accessories are my favorite thing I feel like about getting dressed up So I need to like pick out some cute stuff, but I also have no idea what we're doing Like we really don't have plans. So it's like do I even need to be bringing a bunch of stuff? Stuff. I don't know. I'm just gonna put all these clothes in my suitcase. I'll probably just wear the same purse the whole time I feel like it would be too much to bring purses I'll probably just bring my Air Forces for shoes because those are the only shoes I have that will match everything except for the skirt outfit I will probably bring maybe these flats to go with the brown. I don't know how I feel about that I think these heels would actually be so cute with some gold jewelry to tie in the buckles I don't know. I feel like these are just too extra to pack. Why am I getting stressed out? Like this is literally not a big deal. Ugh, I just want to go to bed. Okay Okay, I'm just gonna pack everything that I can tonight. Just all the stuff that I don't need to use tomorrow morning. Let's wrap up for the night. Mm -hmm. 